Hi there, I'm Russ Mitchell from Wing Saber Historical Fencing, which we run out of Warlord Combat Academy in Irving, Texas. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about my background and who the heck I am and why you're paying attention to me. I've been involved in historical fencing since the mid to late 1990s as part of a research group that was called the Manuscript Grubbers. We were responsible for hauling manuscripts out of various archives in Europe and transcribing them when possible or just getting them out to other specialists who could also transcribe them. Along the way, while I was pursuing graduate work in medieval studies in Budapest, I bumped into a gentleman whose grandfather had been a Hussar drill instructor, and I learned Hungarian saber fencing and Fokos fencing from him. The Fokos is a long axe. It's spelled F-O-K-O-S. Hungarians pronounce the plain S like in sugar, so Fokos rather than Fokos. So after that, when I was digging out other manuscripts and returning to the United States, I realized there wasn't a whole lot of interest in the broader Western martial arts and historical European martial arts movement and began to work with a Savat instructor. So I wound up here in 2020 teaching in Irving when some students were interested in fencing, having actually three living lineages under my belt. Hungarian Hussar fencing, a small stripped down version of Georgian Kevsur, which I picked up from a fellow graduate student in Budapest named Levan Tatashvili, and a bunch of very old school Savat that preserved a lot of street elements from Savat and Zapota and Chausson, Lut Parisienne, all that fun stuff that you can't do in the ring. So when people asked me to start teaching, I was like, well, there are plenty of other people who do longsword better than I do. And they said, but we want to do saber and no one's doing saber. And so we founded the school. I am also sort of a body mechanics specialist because I was seriously injured preparing for my final glove test in Savat. And because of that, I really had to rethink my approach to martial arts. And I teach it a little bit closer to what the Japanese would call a do rather than a jutsu. So we're using swordplay to improve ourselves both mentally and physically, while at the same time cleaning up your body mechanics so that you're fit enough not only to fence and have fun with swords, but to go do whatever life demands of you in terms of backbreaking gardening or the honeydew list you know and love without having to have any strain. We've got more videos and content coming, so if you liked what you saw and it was useful for you, please stab the like button, slash subscribe, and punch the little bell icon so that you're notified immediately when new content comes available. Thanks, and go do the thing.